Protestant Christianity prides itself that it does not rely on the words of men. Protestant Christianity tells us we're all about following the word of God and the word of God alone. Judaism has a Talmud. The Talmud is a very large book, 2,700 pages of the words of men. And Protestant Christianity sees this as an inherent fault in Judaism. The Talmud is such a significant book, an important book in the theology, in the thought process of a Jew, and that's all the words of men. But the Protestant tells us that no, he only believes in the word of God. He sees his path as a better path and a higher path. But if you think a little bit beyond the superficial, you realize that the Protestant is not relying on the word of God, but he's relying on the words of men. And the Jew is not relying on the words of men, but is relying on the words of God. The core doctrines of Judaism are all spelled out explicitly in the Jewish Bible. Exodus 20, chapter 20, verses 1 and 2. God, who took the new Jewish nation out of the land of Egypt, tells us, I am the Lord your God who took you out of the land of Egypt. You should have no other gods before me. That's all the Jew needs to know about who it is that he is to worship. That's the word of God, direct word of God. What does the Jew need to know about atonement? What does the Jew need to know about how to find, achieve forgiveness for your sin? It's explicitly spelled out in the Jewish Bible. In Deuteronomy 30, God lays out the path for the nation, how the Jewish people as a nation can turn back to God, and that is through observance of the law of Moses, returning to God, listening to his voice. And in Ezekiel 18, chapter 18, and Ezekiel chapter 33, God lays it out very clearly how an individual returns to God. Repentance, open your heart, come back to God, and God will forgive. Those concepts are clearly and explicitly laid out in the Jewish Bible. We don't have to rely on the words of men, of any men, when it comes to the basic teachings of Judaism. The Talmud is here to tell us how to observe the commandments. That's not the foundations. That's not the core beliefs of Judaism. What does Protestant Christianity believe in? Now, I'm not talking about Protestant Christianity today. What does Protestant Christianity want us to believe that we were supposed to believe when Jesus came to the scene. When Jesus appeared with his message, when Paul came along with, with his message, when the teachers of Christianity came to the Jewish people with their message, the Protestant teachers tell us that the Jews were supposed to know certain things. They were supposed to know that there is no atonement for sin without a blood offering, and that that blood offering is the death of Jesus, and that the only way you can access that blood offering is through devotion to Jesus, worship of Jesus. The Protestant would have us believe that before Jesus came onto the scene, the Messiah that we were supposed to be waiting for was a Messiah that was going to bring about a new election, an election of people that believed in him, as opposed to the election of Israel, the election of the nation of Israel that took place through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Those concepts are nowhere to be found in the Jewish Bible. The Protestant theologians weave these concepts, they fill in blanks, they try to find a hint here, a line there. For example, the Protestant Christian tells us that the Jewish Bible teaches that there is no atonement for sin without a blood offering. Now, this concept is nowhere to be found in the Jewish Bible, certainly not as an explicit statement. But even if it would be an explicit statement, which again, it is not, it still wouldn't bring us to what the Christian would have us believe about atonement. The Christian wants us to believe not only that there is no atonement for sin without blood, but that the only blood that truly atones for sin according to the Christian is the blood of Jesus, and the way to access that is through devotion to him. Those concepts are nowhere to be found in the Jewish Bible. The concept that, that devotion to the Messiah will bring about a new election, another concept that's nowhere to be found in the Jewish Bible. It's a concept that the Protestant theologians have to weave together from strands, from hints, from mistranslations and misapplications of Scripture. The Protestant is relying on the words of men, the, wor the twisted words of Christian theologians for the foundations of his faith. The Jew can be confident that the foundations of our faith are the word of God. They're explicitly found in the Jewish Bible. The main foundations of the Jewish faith, the pillars of the Jewish faith, are explicitly spelled out in the Jewish Bible. We believe we follow the word of God. We do not follow the words of the twisted, the twisted words of the Christian theologians.